Hello friends, welcome back to Greta's Travels and welcome to Jodhpur. Jodhpur is known as India's blue city and this video is all about the best things you can do in Jodhpur. So, let's go! Jaswant Tada is a cenotaph, which is kind of like a tomb or mausoleum, but for someone whose remains are located elsewhere. It was built in 1899 by the Maharaja of Jodhpur State for his father. Besides the cenotaph itself, which is pretty stunning with its marble construction, there are also pretty gardens and gazebos that you can walk around, learning about the history of Jodhpur and its ruling family. One of the must-see sites in Jodhpur is Merangar Fort, which you can see behind me and which we're gonna go explore right now. Merangar Fort stands on a hilltop 120 meters above the surrounding city and countryside. It was built back in 1459 by the Rajput ruler, although most of what you can see today was extended in the 17th century by his successors. It's a pretty big and sprawling complex that spans 1,200 hectares, various palaces, expansive courtyards and lots of intricate carvings and artworks. It's a very interesting place to walk around, take in the views over the blue city and learn about India's past. the little side streets looking for the most blue and all the prettiest spots around the blue city.
while Jodhpur is known as India's blue city, it's worth mentioning that it's not all entirely blue. It looks very blue from above, but when you walk amongst its streets, it gets a bit lost. You need to know where to go to find all these pretty blue corners, and they're best found with a local guide. If you're wondering why everything is painted blue, there is no single answer. Some say it's associated to Lord Shiva, the god whose skin is blue, in a sign of devotion. Others say it's a sign of high social status, as the blue color is linked with sovereignty and power. Others say that the combination of elements used to make the blue paint help keeps mosquitoes and termites away, while others say it's simply for aesthetic purposes. Whatever the real reason, I can agree with the last one. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video about Jodhpur, one of India's most underrated cities. If you did, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe, and come back next week for the final video in the India series. Thank you, bye!